In this video, we're going to look at skewness. The skewness of a data set describes the shape of a distribution of the data values. We've got three different scenarios which I've graphed here. We've got now a symmetric distribution, we've got one that's positively skewed and one that's negatively skewed. Let's look at the features of each. So this is said to be symmetric. If we look now at the graph, we can see that the distribution is symmetric. If it is, we can say in terms of the measures of location, the mode will be equal to the median, which in turn will be equal to the mean. So this is one way of establishing skewness. We can also consider the quartiles. We've got Q1, we've got Q2, and we've got Q3. Q1 is the lower quartile, Q2 is the median, Q3 is the upper quartile. We can say if the distribution is symmetric, Q3 minus Q2 will be equal to Q2 minus Q1. This is simply saying the distance from the median to the upper quartile is the same as the distance from the median to the lower quartile. And again, we can see that with the box plot. So another way for testing for skewness is to look at the quartiles. We can also see the distance here will be the same as the distance here. So that leg is of equal length. So we can either look at the measure of location, we can look at the quartiles, or we can look now at a graphical representation. If we consider this one, we can say that this is positively skewed or has positive skew. We can see lots of the data observations are bunched up to the left. In terms of the measures of location, we can say that the mode is going to be less than the median, which in turn will be less than the mean. If we're looking at the quartiles, we've got Q1, we've got Q2, and we've got Q3. Clearly from this, we can see that the distance from Q3 to Q2 is going to be greater than the distance from Q2 to Q1. This is telling me now that we've got lots of data observations here and less as we move away from the median. If we look now at the box plot, we can see now that this leg to the left is short, this one to the right is long. So again, three different ways that we can test for skewness. We can look at the measures of location, the quartiles, and the graphical representation. If we now consider the negative skew, we can see that many of our data observations are to the right. So we've got negative skew. In terms of the measures of location, we can say that the mode will be greater than the median, which in turn will be greater than the mean. If we look now at the quartiles, we've got Q1, we've got Q2, and we've got Q3. So if the data now is negatively skewed, we can see that Q3 minus Q2 is going to be less than Q2 minus Q1. This is telling me now that we've got more data observations between the median and the upper quartile than we have now between the lower quartile and the median. So we're spread out here and bunched up just here. We can see now that the leg to the left is large and then the leg to the right is going to be short. So these are key features now of the data if it's negatively skewed. These now can just be stated, you don't have to prove them or show them, but they are certainly ways in which you can test the skewness. We can also calculate skewness, and one of the calculations is given to be three lots of the mean minus the median divided now by the standard deviation. There are others, if you are expected to know others, you will be, or expected to use them, you will be given them in an exam. So let's have a look at this. Say we had now a mean, let's say we've got a mean of five, let's say we've got now a median of six, and let's say we've got a standard deviation of one, uh, let's go for 2.5. So what we could say then is three lots of five minus six over 2.5. So that's going to give me minus three over 2.5, which is going to give me now minus 1.2 we can see this has got now a negative skew. The larger this number is in terms of it being negative, the more skewed it is. The closer it is to zero, the more symmetric it is. The further away it gets from zero, so as it gets very big and very positive, we can say now that that is having a large positive skew. So that's one way we can calculate it. 
we can determine skewness by these measures, we can actually calculate it with a numeric value just here. We may be asked now which method of finding a measure of location and now the spread we would use if the data was skewed. So in an exam, if you're asked which measure of location, you've got the choice of the mode, the median and the mean. We would choose now the median if the data was skewed. The median is less affected now by the skewness of data. So if you ask for now a measure of location, you would choose the median. If you ask for a measure of spread, we would choose the interquartile range. Again, the interquartile range is less affected by skewness. So these are the kind of questions that they bolt on at the end of any exam question on looking now at the skewness of the distribution. So let's just go through those again. We got a symmetric distribution where the mode, the median and the mean are the same. The distance between the median and the upper quartile will be the same as the distance between the lower quartile and the median. These two legs are of equal length. So it is now symmetric about this point. Positively skewed, lots of data observations to the left. We can see now that the distance between the median and the upper quartile is greater than the median and the lower quartile. And then negatively skewed, we've got lots of data observations to the right. We can see the distance between the median and the upper quartile is going to be less than the distance from the median to the lower quartile. We can actually calculate skewness through a range of different uh, approaches or formulae. This is just one of them, and we can see now that this gives us a numeric value. If this is negative, we've got negative skew. The larger this number, the more skewed it is. If we're asked now to find a measure of location to use if our data is skewed, we would choose a median, and a measure of spread, we would choose the IQR. So there's a brief introduction to skewness.